and good day. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you so much for asking me virtually. If you don't know who I am, my name is Denise Marie, licensed therapist for Empathetic Women. And today I wanted to bring you a dazzling new topic. And this is one that has been coming up for me and a lot of my clients quite a bit as of late. And anytime that happens, if you've been around here any great length of time, you know it's time for me to talk about it because it typically means that there are other people that are struggling around, <clears throat> struggling around, struggling with this as well. I'm talking about self-forgiveness today. And in my personal opinion as a therapist and just as a human being, I've come to learn that self-forgiveness is such a vital part of the healing journey, especially if you're working on you know, letting go of the past or healing from some of the things that have happened to you, or you're doing some trauma work and or child work, whatever the case may be, whatever you're working on, even if you're working with a coach towards anything in life, it, it literally could be anything. You could be working on a business, you could be working on sharpening a skill set, you could be in school, you could be doing anything. But a lot of times this inability to forgive yourself can get in the way of you taking the next step in the right direction. Oftentimes it might hold you back. So it's like, and the interesting thing is, and I wrote this in the comments below, like logically we know, or I mean, logically I know, and maybe you might even know, depending on where you are in your personal journey, that to be able to get to that next step, we have to go through this element of self-forgiveness. But why is this so hard? There's, there's this idea that we know that on the other side of this, there is movement, there is evolution, there is direction, there is forward momentum, but it's like, why is it that this keeps us shackled in place and keeps us in this sort of spiral? And there's a couple of reasons for that. I think it's so hard sometimes, and I always say this, and this is gonna come into my tips and tricks, is it's like we don't really understand that you only know what you know when you know it. And a lot of your decisions, whether they be in different decisions or decisions you might see or perceive as as bad decisions, and I put that in quotations because not necessarily every decision is bad, it's just another step on your learning journey and something that you can learn from and an opportunity to grow from. But I think we categorize things as human beings as either like really black and white, bad decisions, good decisions, good decisions being ones that yield positive outcomes, bad decisions being the ones that yield negative outcomes. But I think oftentimes we have to remember that even negative outcomes leave room and space for growth. But when it comes to self, self forgiveness specifically, especially if perhaps some of our decisions have led to pain in someone else or perceived pain. I think a lot of times too with self-forgiveness, we often are really hard on ourselves and don't allow ourselves space to forgive ourselves because we think we've hurt someone else so badly beyond repair that we, that we feel the weight of that guilt. And that it's almost like, it's like, okay, well you have to, you have to continue to punish yourself because you did harm onto another person. But I think the beautiful part about self-forgiveness is if you can understand that you made decisions in the past based on information you had at the time and knowing in your heart that if you're put in that same position today, that you would make a very different decision, this allows you to sort of soften and have some compassion for yourself. And I think anytime you're doing self-forgiveness work, you've got to be so compassionate and gentle with yourself because I am sure, especially if you're part of this community, if you're working on any sort of personal growth, you have probably beaten yourself up. You have raised the bar so high. It's like astronomical, almost like, you know, setting yourself up. Like there's no way you can ever attain those goals. And, you know, self-forgiveness is something that you really have to say, okay, I'm just going to allow myself to say it's okay to let go. It's okay to let go. It doesn't mean that I don't take accountability. It doesn't mean that I don't, you know, that I that I don't worry about hurting somebody. They don't feel bad about hurting somebody. But I need to be able to forgive myself. And and this could be even in the case of not necessarily even hurting another person or having an impact on another person's life. This could be from even for I'll give you a personal example. For a long time after I was married for the first time, I had a difficult time forgiving myself for not seeing things for what they were sooner, for not seeing, you know, my previous partner for who he was, for putting the blindfolds on, for putting myself through that, for not getting divorced sooner, for like, for a million things. I, I mean, if there was something that I could beat myself up about, I did it. And it took me a really long time to forgive myself, like way longer than it should have. But I mean, that's a story for another day. And, and it doesn't really matter how long it took me because everyone's journey is, is different and unique and, and you get to where you need to go in the time that you need to get there. I, I'm a true believer in that. And I really feel like you will realize and come to have those aha moments in the time frame that you need it most. And I think that's something smart to remember. And a good tip is, especially if you're being particularly hard on yourself or you're struggling with self-forgiveness and you're asking yourself like, why did I let this go on for so long? Why did I let these things happen? Why did I let this person in my life? Like no matter what the circumstances that you're, you're working with, it's like, 
you just have to say to yourself like you know i wasn't i wasn't ready i didn't have all the information i needed to experience this to get me to where i am today and that will allow you to bring that bar down and i think so much of self-forgiveness is bringing the bar down and not having such a high expectation of yourself you know we make mistakes as human beings nobody is perfect not even mary poppins <laughs> if you know you know i use that joke all the time but like nobody is ever perfect and sometimes we have to go through experiences in life to be able to get to the next level but if you're working on self-forgiveness there are a couple of things that you're that you're going to need to do and the, and the first thing the very first thing is to validate yourself and say you know what it's okay no matter where i am it doesn't matter that it took 10 years for me to get here it doesn't matter that you know i've been struggling with it for a really long time it doesn't matter that i beat myself up for it for this long it's going to be okay because i'm ready to do this work now so just giving yourself permission to say it's okay i'm here now that's number one number two is having an awareness around it because sometimes when we beat ourselves up the way we do it's almost like it's subconscious and we just do it without even thinking about it so many of our thoughts are the same thoughts we thought yesterday so if you're in a cycle of beating yourself up or being really hard on yourself or being unable to forgive yourself or decisions you've made in the past it's like you've had those thoughts over and over and over and over again maybe it's been for 10 or 15 years maybe it's been 20 years maybe it's been for three months or three hours no matter what the case is you have to build an awareness around that story that's coming up in your head you have to see it you have to call it out you have to stop yourself in that thought spiral and be like whoa there's there it is again i'm really really being hard on myself and i'm really really shaming myself so much for decisions i made in my past that's the first thing the first thing is building an awareness around it and understanding it and seeing it for what it is the second part of this is is asking yourself the question why am i struggling so much with forgiving myself what is standing in my way personally from seeking and being able to say i forgive you self what is it that's standing in that way what needs to change for me to be able to say okay i'm ready for this and that could be circumstantial maybe there's somebody you feel like you need to reach out to somebody you need to have a conversation with you know maybe it's something you need to journal about there's all kinds of things here but you need to really be clear and ask yourself and reflect on that and say what is it that i need to do in order to pave the way for my self-forgiveness because so much of what we do as human beings is just ruminate and ruminate and ruminate and ruminate and then we're not actually thinking like oh there could be a solution to this we just continue to put ourselves in this rumination spiral and that comes with beating ourselves up right so number one awareness number two is asking your let's put it in the camera Denise. number two is asking yourself what can i do in order to pave the way for self-forgiveness and number three is again continuing to say to yourself i only knew what i i only know what i know when i know it i was making decisions based on the information i had at the time versus based on the state of the state of mind i was in at the time and i think this too is going to allow you to soften and have a little self-compassion for yourself because a lot changes even in a year a lot can change in six months if you think about where you were five years ago versus where you are today if you really sit and think about how much has changed how different you are how much you've grown how much you've learned all these things like things change so if you are going through a cycle of beating yourself up or not being able to forgive yourself for something you did when you were 10 or 11 or 15 or 20 years old or whatever the case may be and you're in your 40s or, or whatever and it's it's many many years later you know like it's a lot has changed and you have changed and you are worthy of being able to say i forgive myself you are worthy to move beyond all of these things you are worthy to find and take the next step for you so hopefully you found that helpful if you're struggling with self-forgiveness please feel free to drop a comment below there is no shame here there is no judgment here you know i'm all about supporting you in your growth and development and sometimes writing things down and saying hey i'm struggling with it because i've been there too you're not alone um, sometimes saying those things aloud can be really, really helpful and therapeutic and cathartic. But with that, I am going to get to work, but I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.